The Cayman Islands, which are consist of Grand Cayman, Cayman Brac, and Little Cayman, are known as one of the most expensive destinations of the world. But what people do not know is that once you get here an island, specifically Grand Cayman, you can explore this place without spending so much. How is that so? Well, here is my number one tip. Avoid drinking too much so as not to end up just like this guy. Just kidding. Well, my first tip is for you to learn how to take public bus. Public bus here on the average only cost $2 CI or $2.5 US. All the places that I'm going to feature or share in this video are accessible via public bus. If you enjoy the old town vibe just like I do, well, you should take a stroll here in downtown Georgetown. This place can be very festive, especially during K-Mass, Batabano, and Pirates Week. You get to enjoy street food, street party, fireworks, parades, just like we did during Pirates Week in November. If you didn't get a chance to watch that video, well, here is the link. I am here in what is known as the People's Park. Right across it is the National Library. And right next to the National Library is the main public bus station. Right next to it is a Starbucks. Remember, straight ahead is People's Park, where the main bus station is. To the left of the screen is Cardinal Avenue, and to the right of the screen is Georgetown Post Office. It's relatively easy to get around here, and this is how it looks like at night. Tip number two, before you decide on buying anything, make sure to check the prices or compare the prices from other stores because some of the stores here sell similar products. One of the perks in living in Grand Cayman is that it is safe to roam around in general. Sure, there are also bad elements as anywhere in the world. This next place that I'm going to feature is Kamana Bay, which at a glance you can tell it's very posh. You can easily spend around 25 CI on the average per person, not including drinks if you eat in restaurants here. So if you are traveling on a budget and don't want to spend that amount on food, well, here's my tip number three for you. You can go to Foster's Supermarket, which is also in this area. There, they have different varieties in their buffet. Aside from that, they also have pasta station, pizza station. So you'll never run out of choices. Plus, you only get to spend around $15 or less. On the other hand, if you are into entertainment, Kamana Bay is definitely the right place for you because the cinemas in the entire island can only be found here in this place. The regular cost of ticket here is around $15.50 CI and for a VIP is around $24.50. CI. So if you are reluctant to spend that amount of money for movies, then here is an alternative for you for my tip number four. If you are going to visit Grand Cayman, make sure to visit the official website of Kamana Bay for their upcoming events so you'll have a chance to watch sponsored shows just like this for free. Now we come to the last place I'm going to feature in this video, which is everyone's favorite place. None other than the Seven Mile Public Beach. Aside from access to the pristine beach, your kids will enjoy the playground here. Not only that, you can avoid spending money on gym because here, there is a place where you can work out. Here is my last travel tip for you so you can save money, especially on accommodation. 
stay away from beachfront accommodation or accommodations along Seven Mile Beach because naturally it is very expensive. Anyways, you can access this place via public bus. Now, please remember, whether you are a tourist or resident here in Grand Cayman, please properly throw away or dispose your rubbish because the Cayman Islands government is doing its best to give us all the convenience and comfort of a beautiful and wholesome place like this so we have to share or do our share I'm <laughs> 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 Oh, tas... oh, yan, 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 Eh, diretso mo yung... Yan. Yan. O, oh, yan. Dito ko sa kabila pa nakikita yung mukha ko. <laughs> For those of you who are new to my channel, I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Aideen and I make videos about my life as an expat here in Grand Cayman. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my other playlists, especially the playlists I made for Grand Cayman's sister island, Cayman Brack.
Eh, di na i-import din. Hindi, sino nga nag-supply niya? Sino nag- community? Sali, goal! Wow! Tingnan natin kung maka-goal. Pag naka-goal, uwi na tayo.